Hello, everyone. I'm very, very pleased to be asked to give a very short speech today um, for Earth Day for the World Alliance of Buddhist celebration and commemoration of Earth Day. And also most venerable Longpo Dhammajaya's birthday. And um, so we talk about today um, how Buddhism can protect the world or Dharma protecting the world. And so first of all, I'll do some short verses, some prayers, some reciting in English. May all sentient beings have happiness and its causes. May they be free from suffering and its causes. May they never be parted from the happiness beyond suffering. And may they abide in equanimity, free of bias, attachment to the near and aversion from the far. We shall cause this. Great compassionate Buddha, please inspire us to be able to do so. So as you know, the Dharma teachings are very pure and leading to what we can call literally total purity. And of course, um, in this world, there is um, the sort of mixture really of say, purity, impurity and the like. But of course, when we talk about the result of the Dharma path, we're talking about going beyond this dualistic idea of purity and impurity to realize the ultimate truth, if you like, to realize what we can call enlightenment or awakening. And of course, that is the result of the path. But of course, we also have to have the foundation of the path. Um, this is, you could say, the two truths of uh, relative truth and ultimate truth. Uh, we live now in relative truth. We live uh, due to cause and effect, which are based on attachment and aversion, which is also based on, or they are based on ignorance. So actually, ignorance is the translation of the word avijja, or lack of wisdom, lack of knowing. And this is the root cause. And then from, from this root cause, this ignorance, arise the two opposites, the duality of attachment and aversion. And so um, this is relative reality, you could say it very, very briefly. I'm not going to go into detail there. And then, of course, the, the fact that we can attain ultimate reality, we can attain enlightenment. And uh, it's the second of those truths, if you like. But once again, no, no detail for that. But then, of course, we have the path. And you could say these are the four noble truths and the eightfold path. Before, by practicing this path, eventually we are able to um, realize the result of the Dharma path. So these three, the foundation of the, uh, the path, um, the path itself, and then the result of the path, they're all pure. And they all can help us to protect the world. Initially, yourself, then, of course, all of those around you and your immediate environment, in, including all of nature and so forth. And then, of course, further and further outwards until what we say, protecting the world. Uh, but we must put into practice, didn't we? So we must uh, work to understand the Four Noble Truths and the, the Noble Truths of the difficulties that we experience of, of suffering, the noble truth of the cause of this suffering, so that we know what we need to do to uproot the cause of suffering, and then or what it is that we need to uproot. And then the third noble truth of the cessation, the possibility that we can attain this enlightenment, this cessation of the cause of suffering. And then the path, of course, leading to that, the noble eightfold path. We need to put this into practice to be able to experience and realize the result of the practice. We need to work very hard, you could say, to understand these four noble truths and then maintain a pure intention maintain pure thoughts as much as we can. When we're engaging in the world around us, engage in good speech, working to communicate clearly with others. Also, our actions should be good actions, good deeds, working to bring benefit for others and for ourselves, and engaging in a livelihood or a way of living that is harmless, and also brings benefit. We should make great effort to maintain the wholesome state of mind and relinquish unwholesome states of mind. 
and also be mindful so that we're able to practice these, practice the Dharma well. Be mindful of our body, of our mental feelings, of the mind itself and the activities of the mind. And also work to develop our concentration to become one-pointed concentration. And so you can see this eightfold path works just like that. It folds into each other. All of the aspects of the path help the other aspects. We need to do this to be able to protect the world, as we say. So um, hopefully these few words are clear for you. And I will elaborate a, a little bit more for a couple of minutes. Uh, but we're going to keep the speech very short because I know you have some other wonderful speakers um, on today as well. Um, it's greetings from Phillip Island in Australia. You know, we have the World Alliance of Buddhists organization bringing this uh, event to us and in the lead up to Earth Day. And it's just that, the World Alliance of Buddhists. Uh, we are, we're all allies. We're all Buddhists. And we come from different parts of the world. But we can affect each other, or affect each other, I should say, even from a distance. Obviously, today, using the Zoom um, and using uh, modern technology. Um, but also, everything we do in the world affects the world around us. So be very, very careful not to do anything that is harmful. And even look into things a little bit more in depth just to make sure that the, even in our everyday life that we're not doing things um, that are bringing harm to others or the planet around us. It's very important that we live like this and develop sort of in-depth insight into the nature of the relative reality, relative truth, and eventually the ultimate truth. So I think that's all. I think um, about seven minutes I was asked to speak for, so I'm pretty sure that's about the seven-minute mark. I hope you uh, remain well, stay safe, and practice the Dharma well, or I should say, first of all, study the Dharma well, hear the Dharma well, practice the Dharma well, and share the Dharma well. Due to this merit, may we soon attain the enlightened state of the Buddha so that we may be able to liberate all sentient beings from their suffering. May the precious bodhicitta, not yet born, arise and grow. May that born have no decline, but increase forevermore. And may the precious view of shunyata, not yet born, arise and grow. May that born have no decline, but increase forevermore.